Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Marin here for Learn Fun. I'm super happy to be back with this Edge to Edge or Infinity Shaker card. If you've never tried this technique, you're really missing something because they're super easy and quick to make. So to create the background, I used the Lots of Hearts background stencils, the giant Be My Valentine die, Making Frosty Friends, Soon with Love for the words I Love You and Much, Snow Much Fun for the word Snow, and finally a die from the Everyday Sentiment banner die set. I stamped my cute snowman and accessories using jet black ink. I cut the images using the coordinating dies and then I used my alcohol markers to color everything. I'm using graphite brush markers and spectrum noir illustrator markers. Once I was done with the coloring, I cut a slimline panel out of Bristol cardstock. 
This panel measures 8.5 by 3.5 inches. And the first thing I did was to create a nice and even base using sponge sugar distress ink. I covered the entire panel using that soft pink color. And next I added a million hearts on this panel using the lots of heart stencils. I taped one of the stencils on one side of the panel. I used washi tape at the back to keep the elements together. And then I used one lipstick distressing to create the first layer of hearts. Any color can be used here. I chose this red and pink combo because I wanted this background to match with the heart confetti I wanted to use. So I did the left side and then I moved on to the right side. Again I used washi tape at the back of the panel to temporarily stick the stencil to the paper. And then I used one lipstick again to complete this first layer of hearts. Next I placed the second stencil on the left side of the panel. I'm just placing the open hearts where there is no hearts on the paper. And it's very easy to line up because you can see the first layer of hearts through the stencil. And for this second layer of hearts, I applied Festive Berries Distress Ink. And you can see that during the whole stenciling process, I used a piece of scrap paper to avoid any inky mess on the other side. After the left side, I did the same thing on the right side. And our million hearts panel was done. Well, quite done. I still wanted to add some splatters, but not too much. I mixed a few drops of Copic white ink with water and I used a small brush to add a few drops all over the paper. And next I mixed some Candida Pearl Distress Ink with water to add more splatters. It doesn't make a big difference, but I think that it gives more interest to this panel. While the paper was drying, I started to work on the sleeve. I took some packaging from my stash, any kind of thin packaging can work. Or even those plastic sleeves we put in binders for school. So I cut the four edges of this packaging to get rid of the seams and get one single sheet of plastic. Here my plastic sheet is ready. I added some double sided tape on the four edges and I placed my panel right in the middle. And while keeping the panel in place with my left hand, I cut the four corners off. I always do this when I make an edge to edge shaker card because this way the plastic doesn't pile at the corners and the card stays flat. Next, I flipped the panel over and made sure that it was centered between the corners that are not corners anymore. And while keeping the panel in place, I removed the backing papers and attached three of the four tabs. And to stick those tabs, you don't want them to be too tight or the shaker accessories won't have enough room to move. Don't pull too hard on the tabs while attaching them, just fold them gently on the paper. I like to start in the middle of the tab and then I stick the sides. So I did this on the three sides, leaving one open to fill the sleeve with shaker accessories. I used the hard confetti from Dress My Craft. This mix is just perfect to create Valentine cards. I added a few spoons inside the sleeve. Next, I added a bunch of tiny hard confetti. These are super thin, so you can add a ton of them. They won't make the card thicker. And finally, I added some clear jewels to bring more light and shine inside the pocket. Once I was happy with my shaker mix, I closed the sleeve. My camera didn't record this part, but just like the three other tabs, I folded this last tab not too tight. And here you can see that by cutting the corners of the plastic sheet at the beginning, we get a nice and flat result. 
Next, I created my sentiment, a sentiment that coordinates with the snowman. I first treated my chili paper paper with my anti-static powder bag. This will help the embossing powder to stick to the embossing ink only. Next, I stamped my I love you so much sentiment using clear embossing ink. I sprinkled white embossing powder on top of the ink and then I hit the paper to melt the powder. And when I hit emboss something, I always start at the back of the paper because I find that I get a more precise result. I also die cut Be My Valentine twice out of pixie dust cardstock and out of ballet slippers cardstock. I layered both pieces on top of each other and then I attached that giant sentiment in the middle of my shaker panel using glue dots which are super handy to stick elements on plastic. Next I attached the second part of my sentiment below the giant one and then I attached each snowman on the sides and I placed their arms in a way that it looks like they're holding the giant sentiment. Next, I added highlights and details on the images using a white gel pen. I cut an 8.5 by 3.5 inches card base out of ballet slippers cardstock and I attached the shaker pocket on top using double sided tape. And that's it, all done! I hope that you like it! And if you've never made an edge to edge shaker card, I hope that it will inspire you to give it a try. I promise that you will have fun. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.